Hey guys, so I figured today I would show you guys how I plan a week in the life, especially when I feel like my life is kind of hectic right now. Um, a lot of you guys said that hearing the thought process behind how I plan was helpful to you guys. So I just wanted to just test out what that would look like um, for me to take you guys along with me as I try to plan out a week. So, hey guys, thanks for jumping on. Hair by April, Reese, 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 I hope I said that right. Modest Mommy, thanks for jumping on, guys. So, um, I have about mm, 35 minutes until my next meeting, so I figured I would, like, try to get my ducks in a row and get organized. I find that if I don't have, like, direction for my day, it kind of gives me anxiety because I just want to make sure that I'm working on the right things there's like always an infinite amount of things to be working on um you know when you're a mom or when you own a house or when you have kids i said that already mom kids <laughs> when you have a job there's like always so many things that you can be working on but i just want to make sure that i have like direction like i have defined what is a priority for this week so i'm gonna pull up my google calendar from last week now i can't be showing y'all all my business so that's why the that's where the challenge is but you know i could I could try my best and so um so this is what i typically like a week to look like when i'm done you see all those little green x's so the red represents like my to-do list and then whenever i'm done with the task i'll put like a little green x to let me know that it's good to go and so typically on a typical week i like all of my little um to-do list tasks to be green okay um you know that just makes me feel like i'm doing what i'm supposed to do but last week was really rough. Um, it was a little rougher than normal. So I don't want this to turn into a complaining session, but let's just say, um, you know, Hurricane Nicholas here in the Houston area um, caused school to be out. I had sick kids. We had a leak in our roof. Plus I was solo momming for several days. Um, and so it just felt like a lot of things were just kind of like pushing me off my A game. And toward the end of the week, I was just, or toward like the middle of the week, I was just like, okay, I just gotta be realistic and just kind of roll with the punches. So this was last week. You can see at the beginning of the week where I got my little ticks, I was getting things done. And this is home management, by the way. I have a whole different calendar for work stuff that I keep track of. This is just for home. And then you can see toward the end of the week, there are no green ticks. Nah, that was definitely in survival mode and just handling like the first thing that not came to me but what i felt like was urgent at the time and things definitely kind of fell apart so the first thing that i'm going to do as i get ready to plan for this week is i'm going to evaluate um which of these things are just repeating tasks so i'm going to do them again this week anyway whether i did it last week or not and which of these tasks are one-time tasks that need to be pushed over to this week so i'm just going to identify those things um so I have that I wanted to do my weekly home blessing, horizontal and vertical surfaces on Tuesday. So I'm gonna do that anyway, so I don't need to push that forward. Sorry, I have my music, it's distracting me. All right, so, and then for Wednesday, I needed to get gas. I have that as part of my checklist to get gas. And that's not, that reoccurs every week, so I already have a task for it for this week, so I don't need to move that over. Picture day was last week. I don't need to move that over because we handled that. Um, there is a conference for my child that I needed to put on the calendar, uh, on my work calendar. So I'm gonna write a note for myself to do that. That is more than likely a desk day item. So Monday is my desk and planning day. So I'm gonna write that on Monday because that's my desk and planning day to make sure that I put my child's um, teacher conference on my work calendar so that I can make sure that um, my schedule is blocked off for that time so I don't have any issues with that. So put easy pours, teacher conference on calendar. Okay, so that's handled. And then next I had that I needed to vacuum. That's a reoccurring task, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Um, I had some Walmart returns. And so I have this shelf that I need to move into my office and I've just decided that I'm going to keep it so that doesn't need to be moved forward. I need to build storage. Like I have these storage shelves that I want to put in my office and I was hoping to get that built last week, but I realized that that was just unrealistic with uh, me. My husband traveling during the week last week. So that is something that we're going to work on this week. 
He said Wednesday wasn't ideal, but he could help me on Tuesdays, Tuesday and possibly Thursday. So I'm going to put that and I'm going to put it probably on Tuesday and Thursday as a zone cleaning task. Um, and that means we'll just work on it for a little while. And then, you know, if we can't finish it, we'll just work on it in bite-sized pieces. Um, but I would really like to get that done because my office, you guys can't see it. It's a hot mess. And I'm tired of living like this. So, <laughs> um, so I will be moving that forward. Another thing on here I had was I needed to mop. That's weekly home blessing. So I'll be doing that every single week. So I don't need to move that forward. And I needed to make a return for some water shoes that I bought that were too small for my um, my middle child. So Aaron Day for me usually lands on Friday. So I'm going to put Aaron Day. And then I'm going to put to revisit, uh, return those water shoes. And I'll, I'll just handle that during a lunch break or something like that. But I'm going to wait because if there's any other errands that I need to run, I'll make sure to just have a list of errands so that I can just go and get them all done at the same time. Um, let's see. Um, and I think that's it. Oh, I put, I wanted to pull out some more fall decor. So for me, I'm just handling my decor little by little. I don't want to like overwhelm myself with it. So I'll just move that over because that isn't like a reoccurring task. Um, so I'll put that on self-care day to continue with fall decor. I did not do that this weekend, even though that was part of my plan and it's okay. Um, like I mentioned, things fell apart. And then for Sunday, I wanted to, okay, no, I put that I wanted to do a fall bucket list with my kids, but I realized that we did that the week before, so it's fine. So now I'm just gonna look at tasks that I already had planned for this week. What I've done so far is I was just shifting the tasks from last week that kind of got dropped and that I didn't get to. And now I'm gonna look at tasks that I had already planned for this week and let's see what needs to get done and what day it needs to fall on. So today is desk day. That's what I'm doing now. Usually every desk day, I try to look at the bills that I have and make sure that those get paid. So I'm going to put on my desk day to pay bills because I do that every every week. And the way that I have my bill set up is, once again, I can't be showing you all my business. But uh, what I usually do, I'll look at next month, is I will go and look at all the bills that I have. And every bill gets put on a date. I like to do a couple of days before the bill is actually due because my bills are usually due around the same time every single month. So, you know, let's pretend that my water bill is always due on the 10th. I'll put it on the 8th to make sure that I handle it, you know, before it's due. And so I just like to see what's coming and how much I typically pay. And so whenever I do desk day, what I'll do is like, let's pretend that today is October 11th. I'll just look at all the bills that are due this week and I'll pay just those bills for the week. And then, I, so that way I don't feel like, I don't like paying bills. So that way I don't feel like I have to pay like every single bill that we owe. Um, I can just pay the appropriate one for the week and be sure that the week is good. And then I'll come back next Monday and do the same thing. So that's how I keep track of like bills that are due, when they're due. And this is what guides me on what bills to pay. So I need to do that for this week. So that's what I wrote for that task. All right, the next thing on here, it says, uh, my son, I needed him to take some stuff to school. They're doing like a project and the teacher asked for some supplies. So I have sent that to school. So that's good. Um, and then it looks like the rest of this stuff is just like weekly reoccurring things. So I don't need to like have a special task for it. So great. Um, so that's what I do. So usually Monday is my desk day. So now I'm gonna have like a brainstorm session like have since last week has anything come in paperwork bills administrative stuff um, anything that we need to do um, family wise that needs to be taken care of and i'll just take a moment to like think about that whether it gets done this week or i push it over to next week i just want to just stay on top of like what's coming in if you're new to your system you're probably going to have like a lot of stuff um, you know that you might need to handle desk wise this is a great time to like list that stuff out and brain dump it for me um, I'm just trying to think. I don't think I have anything. Um, yeah, I think I feel like I've tried to stay on top of my desk day. So, uh, when stuff comes in, I'll just note it when it comes. Um, the next thing on here is Tuesday for me. Tuesday is, um, I've been doing anti-procrastination day on like 
Tuesday or Wednesday. So are there any things around the home that I've been procrastinating on? Yes, there is one thing that I can think of. Um, I've been working on a photo book. Um, my great aunt and my uh, grandmother, when they passed, they left behind like photos. And I've been procrastinating on that. What I've been trying to do is take the photos out of their old album and put them into like a fresh album so that me and my brother can kind of make decisions about what to do with that. We just want it to just everything to be nice and clean. And I've been working on that for months and because I've been procrastinating on it. And I don't know if that's a task that I can complete in one day because there are lots of photos to go through, but I'm about 80% done. I started working on it last week. So it would be really nice if I could just get really aggressive about that and maybe on um, a Tuesday, um, depending on if my husband wants to help me with the storage on Tuesday or not. If he's not available on Tuesday, that would be a great task for me to do um, during like a lunch break. So I'm gonna put that here. Um, the photo albums because I would really like to get that done because what's happening is it's taking up a lot of space in my office downstairs so my office doesn't look pulled together the way that I would like it to and I don't feel comfortable like moving that stuff around until it's complete and organized and I know where everything is and then I can put it in a new location and tidy that area up more um, but sorry I have getting messages in for work okay so I want to be able to pull that space together so that's kind of like a roadblock for me so I would like to work on that so I'm gonna say either on Tuesday if we're not working on the storage or I can do it any day honestly but it's since it's anti-procrastination day I'm gonna really strive to work on it tomorrow um, the next day for me that I usually um, work through is Let's see, we got end of procrastination day, planning day. Oh, for planning day, I need to go back. I said dust day earlier, but this is also my planning day. What I've been trying to do is think about like, what are some things coming up in the future that I need to plan for that I don't wanna be overwhelmed by? And two things just kind of pop up for me. The first thing is my kids and I have created a fall bucket list. And so a lot of the tasks that they picked out that they wanted to do requires planning. Like I need to, like buy supplies, I need to buy pumpkins so we can paint pumpkins, I need to get the paint so we can paint. Like, so I want to pick the task that we're doing for Sunday and make sure that I'm prepared for it. So I'm gonna write that on Monday, which is my planning day. Family fun, any prep. So I just need to at least be aware, like if there's anything that I need to buy, anything that I need to research, anything that I need to do. And then once I have identified what that is, then I can just, Later on, I can go in and put in the day, like, oh, make sure you swing by and get pumpkins or make sure you do this. Um, but I need to know what those tasks are in order for me to do it. I just don't want to wait until Sunday and be like, oh, we're doing family fun day. And then it turns out that I don't even have the stuff that I need to, um, that's happened to me before. So I just want to avoid that if possible. Okay, so um, what's next? So we have planning day, desk day, and to procrastin procrastination day, oh my gosh. Uh, Aaron day usually lands on Friday for me and the main thing that I can think of is I need to go get those water shoes and uh, possibly I'm not gonna fill this in but possibly if there's anything that I need to pick up for our family fun day this weekend um, I would notate that there but since I haven't planned that out yet I'm not gonna put anything there yet but I know that that could expand and then for Saturday Saturday is usually um, just work prep so I usually do my girls hair on Saturday but then I also try to make sure that I have self-care time for myself um, and so I just need to think of like what is it that I want to do I've been kind of thinking about getting a massage I don't I've never gotten a professional massage before and it just came to me like this last weekend like maybe you should go do that let's at least research it see what that's about because like my shoulders and stuff were like really tight last week and it could be from all the stress you know and so um I was like, maybe that would be nice. So I'm gonna look into it. We have like a place across the street that my mom-in-law has gone to before. She said she had a good experience there. So I'm gonna put that for myself and challenge myself to uh, make that happen because I've never done it before. And you know, it doesn't hurt to treat yourself every once in a while. I've been treating myself a lot because I just feel like the more you do, the more you need to take care of yourself to make sure you have the energy to do what you need to do. And, um, you know, you don't have to spend money for self-care, but, you know, 
I want to. I just want to experience this stuff and see if it makes a difference. I know that for me, I feel like more pulled together when I have my hair, my nails done or my hair done or if I have like makeup or so that's what works for me. But I know that self care looks different for everyone. So I just if you don't know what self care is or what makes you feel rejuvenated, I recommend that you explore that and that you experiment with that and try some new stuff out. That was one thing that I found with a lot of the moms who were in my coaching program, when we started talking about self-care day, they were like, what, what, what are y'all, what, what's, what's self-care? Like, what are you doing for self-care? I don't even know what to do anymore. Um, and so it's just really interesting because it just revealed to me, cause I've, I've even had that same conversation with myself before I kind of got into doing self-care more consistently. I was just like, I don't even know like what I like anymore. I don't even know if I have hobbies anymore. Like, what is it that, you know, and so it's just been a journey of like trying to figure that out. So I recommend that if you can't answer that question, like what makes you feel rejuvenated, um, that you spend some time thinking about that because um, it's important. I really, I think it's important. Okay, so the next thing, um, Sunday's Family Fun Day. I'm gonna save a spot for it. Oh, sorry, this light is coming in really serious. Uh, but Family Fun. So I have to pick a task and that's what I'll do today whenever I'm like working through my um, activities. I'll pick a task and then I'll prepare for it throughout the week. And so those are the main things that I usually like to plan for. And so as information is coming in to me, usually on Mondays and Tuesdays, my children bring home a lot of things from school, paperwork and stuff that I need to um, handle. So I will usually just add it as things are coming in. Um, another thing that I need to look for, though, is appointments. Usually I do that first. I forgot all about that. Um, and so I need to see if there's any places that I need to be. So on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, one of my children has to go to his speech therapy appointments. So it's important to know that because that will definitely inform how I rearrange this week. Like if I feel like a day is too heavy, I definitely have the ability to shift stuff around. But, um, you know, if you have appointments and stuff, obviously there's less that you can do there. So I need to acknowledge that. So I'm going to write it here. Um, my son has to go to speech. And by the way, I usually don't plan on paper. I'm just planning on paper because I usually plan on Google on my phone, but I don't, I can't record and do that at the same time. So, um, and then I have speech here. And then I need to take my daughter for an appointment on Wednesday as well. Um, so I'm gonna acknowledge that as well. And her appointment is at 10 o'clock. Okay, great. So, um, all right, so the next thing that I'm gonna do is start thinking about uh, homekeeping stuff. So I've thought about pillar, the first pillar that I've thought about is my basic weekly plan. Um, so I. The next pillar is like your daily routines and stuff. I don't really feel the need to write that down because I do my daily routines every day and it's the same exact thing. Dishes, laundry, hotspot, dishes, laundry, hotspot. So I don't feel like I need to write that down. The next pillar would be my zone cleaning. And so we are in zone, if I'm correct, I think we're in zone four. So we're in the master bedroom. So although I did say that that desk or building the storage in my office would be, um, would be anti-procrastination uh, anti task. I also think I'm going to not give myself too many zone cleaning tasks because I know that that's gonna be a pretty big project. Usually I don't have like to build furniture every week, so <laughs> this is usually not a problem, but just because I know that that's a big task, I'm going to reserve my energy for making sure that that storage gets built whether it's anti-procrastination day if we don't finish it i have two um storage or two like storage units that need to be built so if we we probably won't finish it all in one day that will probably be a multiple day project so that's what i'm going to consider for the most part to be my zone cleaning because i do know that we probably won't finish it in one day since we're just going to be trying to squeeze it into our lunch break um Another thing that I could do zone cleaning wise that needs to be done is in my um, closet downstairs, uh, my master closet. It just still feels pretty heavy to me. Um, I went through and decluttered a lot of things from it um, about a couple of weeks ago, but I just feel like there's more things that could be decluttered. So I'm probably going to work through that. 
and that's something that I could do like if we get this storage built and I feel good about it so um, and I feel like I still have time and energy so that's that so that's all I'm gonna do for zone cleaning I'm not gonna add any more the last pillar that I need to think about is weekly home lessing and that fell to the wayside really bad so I'm just gonna go in and write a couple of tasks okay got some stuff coming in okay so today is Monday today I'm probably just gonna so for the weekly home blessing there's six tasks so I'm just gonna have one task a day so today I'll probably do some vacuuming and sweeping I'll probably mop on Tuesday I'll probably do horizontal and vertical at the same time on Wednesday and then I'll probably do let's see I'll probably do swish and swipes on Thursday so that's like my toilets and sinks and stuff like that and then on Friday I'll probably change sheets so that's done so that's it um, I think this is makes me feel a lot better in terms of home management wise I need to sit down and do the same thing for work but for home management wise this is it this is what needs to be done the last thing that I'm gonna look at is I'm gonna go through each day and ask myself Okay, so sorry, I'm getting notes for work, so I'm like trying to like go back and forth. But the last thing that I'll look at is I'll just ask myself, like, is this realistic? Uh, if I feel like there's just too many tasks on one day, I will take all that free space over here and start shifting things around if necessary. So today, I just need to put one thing on the calendar, pay some bills, and plan out um, what we're doing for Friday. And I feel like, and then vacuum at some point. And I feel like, honestly, that's realistic. It'll probably just take a few minutes, like five minutes to put that task on the calendar. Probably take 10 or 15 minutes to, probably not even that long, probably like less than 10 minutes to pay bills and probably less than 10 minutes to pick out a task and think about what supporting steps need to go to make that happen, so. Um, so I think I'm good with Monday. Tuesday, I said I wanted to work on the photos and the storage, building the stuff for my storage units. And I feel like if I did one, maybe in the evening, like working on the photos while I'm watching TV with the boys, and then storage during the day with my husband, I feel like that should be fine. And then like a quick mop, whether it was my morning, afternoon, or evening routine, that should be fine. Um, Wednesday, just horizontal and vertical surfaces. And I feel like that should be fine. Possibly some zone cleaning if I still need to continue to work on that storage. Same for Thursday. Possibly zone cleaning if the storage is not built. And then a little swish and swipe. Friday, I want to swap the sheets out. Return some shoes. That sounds reasonable to me. And then Saturday, I would like to pull out some fall decor. And possibly get a massage. And Sunday, whatever our family fun day task of choice is, we'll make sure that that happens along with anything I need to do to prepare for work. So... I feel a lot better. I feel, um, you know, like I have some direction now and I know what needs to be worked on when. I do probably should just, like with the zone cleaning, that's just kind of hard with building something because you just don't know how long it's gonna take. We could probably whip that thing out and have it done in 30 minutes or it might take all week. So it's just kind of hard to gauge that. So that's why I'm like, I don't wanna fill my schedule too tightly with all these different zone cleaning projects because that one's a really big one. So. But um, anyway, so that's that. That's how I plan for a week. I'm just gonna take this information and import it over to my Google Calendar so that I just have this information on my phone at all times. So anyway, um, that's that. Let me know if you guys think this was helpful. I usually prefer to have things that are, you know, video presentations that are more like tight and kind of planned out, but I figured I would just try it and just kind of go with it in the moment and see, you know, if you guys thought that was helpful. But, yep, that's my thought process, and that's what helps me feel um, like I have direction for the week. That also helps me assess, like, am I being realistic with all the things that I need to get done and thinking about if there's any tasks that can afford to be pushed over because this week is too tight. And so I feel good about this week. I have a lot of things to do work-wise though, so I'm going to sit down and just kind of map out the same thing work-wise, like when is the best time to do each task so that each day is not too compact if I can like spread it out evenly and make it like, you know, not so I don't have to do like a ton of stuff on one day. If, um, so that's what I'm going to work on. Thank you guys for watching this video. And once again, let me know if you guys think this is 
helpful or not. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.